On today's video, we talk about is the housing market boom over. Hey everyone, Adam Swartz here, top real estate agent. On this week's uh, real estate news, we're gonna talk about a new article that just came out by CNBC saying that the housing boom is over. And what they're basing this article on is new home sales have dropped to a pandemic low. And why have we started to see this? We started to see that most neighborhoods, like I've said for years, have a peak in price. Buyers can only pay so much to live in a certain neighborhood. Certain buyers to only go into that market. Well, I think we finally have hit those prices. We've definitely seen in our uh, homes that we've been listing in this area, but definitely we're seeing it in new homes. And why new homes more than anything else is because they've been getting hit so hard with labor costs going up, lumber costs were up 300%, appliances costs were up. Everything increases the price of a home that it costs to build it. So what does a builder have to do? As prices for all those supplies and labor and things go up, they keep pushing, pushing, pushing the price of home. And I think we've finally hit that limit. Stats show that we are at about six and a half months of supply for homes, which we were before, we were at three and a half months. We're starting to see that buyers just can't buy at these prices. So what's gonna now happen? One, builders are gonna stop building or two, builders are gonna to have to take less of a profit in that home to get rid of the product. Uh, something I've been thinking about in the last few weeks is that sellers get to choose if a property sells, but the buyers are the ones that choose what it sells for. People a lot of think that sellers set the price, really the buyers do, and we're starting to see that buyers are just tapped out. Two, we've been seeing that interest rates last month hit above 3%, so rates are starting to creep back up. So with prices so high, and rates going up, buyers just cannot afford these high prices. When housing jumps up five, 10, 16% from the year before, people's salary and what they make do not jump up that quickly. We're just gonna see people that cannot buy. So what's gonna end up happening? What's gonna happen is sooner or later, sellers are gonna have to bring down their prices so then buyers can reach their prices or Rates have to drop lower down so then buyers can spend more money for housing because if rates go lower, then they can purchase more because their monthly payment's not a big, but we'll see if that happens. I'm not really sure if that's gonna happen because of you know, the whole inflation and the fear of inflation and things like that. So it should be interesting to see what the, fate, uh, what the Fed does if housing starts slowing down for the next few months, if they change rates or not. And then obviously, I think another reason what's slowing housing down right now is that a lot of people, uh, not in California, because we just passed a law saying that um, no foreclosures and evictions until the end of uh, September, but out everywhere else it ends actually at the end of this month. So we'll see if there's a massive amount of houses hitting the market, which then obviously more housing hitting the market is gonna drive prices down even more. And so I always say people buy and sell homes to solve problems. If prices keep dropping, if you have to sell, you're still gonna sell. When prices are going higher and higher and higher, if you had to buy, you were still buying. So too many things are out of the control of the market. People buy and sell to solve problems. So just trying to stay up as much as possible on what's going on in the housing market because it is changing week by week. And this article is important, but remember this article is nationwide. There are still some neighborhoods in our, our market that are super hot and that are selling like that. And then there's other ones that are ice cold. So it's really important if you wanna know what's going on in your market, reach out to a top real estate agent because they're the ones putting houses on the market, writing offers, and that's truly how you feel uh, the market is when you're writing offers and putting houses on the market. So hopefully this video helps. Comment below if you have any questions. Make sure you share it, subscribe, and until next time guys, peace.